Because I remember when I was eating meat, I didn't look like this. I had to give something up to go up. What do you give up when you don't make the 203 a day? Do you not watch TV? That's your problem. You getting to watch TV and not make money and still survive. You, you got to hear what I'm saying. The reason why you broke is because you getting a reward and you ain't working. I'm not scared that some kid's going to take my spot. If he does, he's going to have to do it with sweat. He's going to have to do it with tears. He's going to have to do it with blood. He is going to have to get up at 2.30 in the morning. If he can get up every day at 2.30, he deserves to take my spot. Some people are taking your spot and they shouldn't take it, but because you're average, it's easy to take your spot. It's easy. It's easy to get to the place before you get there. It's easy to take that client before you get to him. It's easy. It's easy to beat you. Why? You average. Everybody wants to be a beast until it's time to do what beasts do. There's nothing that can stop me because my motives are pure. And the pure your motives are, that you guarantee yourself success. When you're doing stuff for yourself, you can't guarantee it's going to blow up. And no disrespect, but this is why I need you to get your, your motives have to be pure. This is why. Because what happens is for each motive, it's a, a different level of energy. And some of you, you have like big dreams, but your energy is like a triple A battery. Your battery got to be able to push that dream. And if you got a big old dream, but you got a small engine, you're not going to be able to push it. If dreams were easy, everybody would make them happen. The problem is that most people, I watch most people, they like, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. I'm walking through the airport running almost. I, most people that I'm with, they don't got the energy to keep up with me. I'm like, boo, ain't nothing wrong with you. You just ain't got the stamina. You just ain't got the energy. You can't smart everything. You can't outthink everything. You can't, some stuff is just, you gotta be powerful. It's just some stuff that you gotta have stamina for. It's just, you just too slow. It just take you too long. You wake up, take you three weeks to do what it can take two, 24 hours to do. It don't make you a bad person, but you're gonna forever be average because to be great, you got to keep up. Today might not be the day, but soon it will be my day and I will recycle my pain. Say, so what do you mean, ET, you recycle your pain? I turn homelessness into a book. I turn my father not being in my life to a book. I turn an estranged relationship with my mom into a book. I turn being homeless into a book. I turn being a high school dropout into a bestseller. And not only do they sell it in America, they sell it across the world. What will you do with your pain? Will you let it break you or will you let it redefine you? My son, my daughter, they drive me. What drives you? And this is why I'm telling you, because if a house drive you, you sweet, you're going to get one. Then what you going to do when you finish? It's what she said. She blew this business up and now she don't, she don't want to do it no more. You know how hard it is to blow a business up? You know how many people wish they could do what she's doing? But yet she finished with it. Why? Because that, 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 that thing was not strong enough to drive her. The Nobel Prize, that take me forever. I picked something that would drive me for the rest of my life. You're doing, you doing it because somebody else told you to do it. You want to drive a Rolls Royce because everybody else drives it. You want to live in that house because everybody else living in that house. Like you got affirmation problems. You, you're not doing it because you really want to do it. You're doing it because you want to be affirmed. Let me tell you something. That's a great place to start. But when you get to your root, it's a whole new level. Take all your energy for the dream because you're going to need it. And so if the second thing I can teach you is for every dream you have, take at least a week or 30 days and write down every single thing that it's going to take to make it happen. And I want you to know something. After you write everything down, you still have not written everything down because you don't know what's going to happen. And so life normally breaks you because when it hits you, you wasn't ready. But if you ready, ah, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. If you stay ready and you stay plugged up when you hear bad news, it don't break you because you already energized. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. I've been called an adrenaline junkie or a daredevil.